Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. Divers love warm, clear water, and one of the most well-known locations for relaxed tropical scuba diving is the island of Bonaire. Bonaire is located in the southern Caribbean, not far from the coast of Venezuela. It's a beautiful, sunny island which enjoys sea breezes powerful enough to generate electricity and has a long history of making salt from the ocean. The last time I visited Bon Air, I was on a mission to film spawning coral. But this time, I'll be doing some diving without a scuba tank. Diving without scuba gear is called free diving, and frankly, I'm not that good at it. I've been invited to a free diving class at Buddy Dive Resort. It's being taught by Carol Meyer, a world champion free diver from Brazil. She can hold her breath for over 18 minutes. I head down to the pool where Carol is practicing static apnea, which means holding your breath while you lie very still. We can start the class as soon as she comes up from this breath. Wow, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. Now we can head on over to the classroom. Carol discusses techniques for breathing, rescue techniques, and of course, safety. If you feel comfortable, if you equalize, if you breathe through the belly, you send more oxygen fast to the body. You close here, you close here, you put pressure, the air goes through. Next, Carol gives ears. me some tips on breathing with my belly in order to get more air into my lungs. All my life I've been breathing and I thought I was doing it pretty well. But it turns out I'm doing it all wrong for freediving. It's not easy to do it outside water. Since freedivers have been known to black out if they try to hold their breath a little too long, the class practices rescue techniques how to hold someone with their head above the water and open the airway to make sure they breathe. First, Carol demonstrates. Then the students try. Oh, you're definitely gonna drown, I'm sorry. <laughs> After a few attempts, I get the hang of it. Yes. Mostly. I'm kinda hoping I don't have to rescue anyone. I beg. All right. <laughs> Finally, we practice static apnea. We relax, take big breaths, and float quietly face down in the pool. Nobody in our group is going to set a record, but we're trying to see how long we can comfortably hold our breaths. I'm not wearing a mask because water on the face triggers what's called the mammalian diving response, a lowering of heart rate and conservation of oxygen. Yes, okay. The water on my face literally helps me hold my breath longer. After a few attempts, I managed to go just shy of three full minutes without a breath. I've never held my breath that long. That's all fine and good, but static apnea is a lot different from swimming in the ocean. Carol takes the class out onto the reef to practice freediving. We gather around a float with a line going down into the blue. 
Take it to your book. Yeah, we're going down. One at a time, Carol takes each of us down. We go only to a predetermined depth so nobody gets in trouble or has a problem getting back to the surface. Soon it's my turn. The line helps me swim straight down so I don't waste energy going diagonally. At 50 feet, we turn and come back up gently, conserving energy to make that one breath last. Less than one minute later, I'm back at the surface. There's no way I could hold my breath for three minutes while swimming. What a day! Today I did some stuff I never thought I'd do. With Carol's instruction, I held my breath for almost three minutes. And I dove to 52 feet without a scuba tank. The next day, I head on over to the dive shop again because Carol is taking the class out on the reef for a few hours of freediving practice. We will each partner up with a buddy and hone our skills. Carol is wearing a big monofin attached to both feet. It takes strong leg muscles to swim with this kind of fin, but it provides a lot of thrust. With it, she swims like a dolphin. And like a dolphin, Carol can go a long time without breathing down there. Now you might ask, why free dive if you can scuba dive? Why hold your breath if you can strap on a tank and breathe all you like? Well, it's peaceful, it's less intrusive in the marine environment, the fish seem much less bothered by free divers than scuba divers, and it's just a fun skill to develop. But it requires practice, lots of practice. So my buddy and I are practicing and getting better all the time. The goal isn't to go deeper, but to stay longer on the reef, to have more time to look around. Carol shows me I have a long way to go, but as I get more and more comfortable, I'm able to spend more than a minute down on the reef, and my deeper dives are passing the 60-foot mark. This is with only a few days of training and practice. Later in the day, Carol and I spend an hour diving together. Well, sort of. To be honest, I can't really keep up. Carol has set over a dozen world records, not just for static apnea. She's been down to depths over 500 feet on just one lungful of air. Today, swimming around a reef with her class is just goofing around. Easy stuff for Carol. <laughs> Yeah. 
So at the end of my week of training, Carol certifies that I'm a real freediver, and I have the pin to prove it. Ooh, congratulations. Um, so I'm an actual... To achieve the real spirit of open air. And now it's up to me to keep practicing, to become one with the sea. Maybe someday I won't need a scuba tank anymore and I'll become part dolphin like Carol, but somehow I doubt it.